You see, you need my brother, really? I don't want each and every one of us that are here to make it be too late for us. Because to learn, to learn shall be the cross. Jesus our witness record when he comes high. Oh, yes. Let us take up Jesus as our personal Savior. Oh, yes. Yes. Not let us just say God. Not let us just say Lord. Jesus. Not let us just say the thing. But let us mean it within our heart. Oh, yes. We got plenty of us, you know. That we say the things because we want to say that we could say it. Oh, but within our heart is a different story. Amen. If we could have seen within each and every one heart. Oh God, I think we would have been better people today. But because we cannot see within each and every heart, we see there are except Almighty God. We would have been better people today. We see them, brother. Jesus said he come in. He come in for his chosen children to see him. All you are those who are called by your name and the ransom of revelation, so only has come to the place. Yeah. Let us all be one of them this evening. When he came up, coming to come this evening, let us be one of them. We don't want to hear. Rise up, holy. Set up, Lord. I'll be this preacher of this world. 
and we don't be young and some of the old. We give up a lot. Our faith is weak. And we need to lean on each other. Because the Bible says, united we stand and divide every fall. We don't have to wait until we come to church to give God time. I want to look on the car like a new house. You can sing a little tune. We can live in your spirit. Because Sister Daki has said, Sister Denise has said, God.
All in California, what's happening back home here? We don't know. We know there's not only minute, not the hour. We just have to be on our swing ground. Every minute, every hour. Oh, God. 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 He's God. to praise. Sometimes I'm at work. I was telling my sister, yeah. I'm sure I'm on the camera. Yeah. Every minute I'm singing, dancing. Some of them are walking with Indians. And I'm Spanish. They sometimes they want to sing. And they don't understand what I'm saying. But I'm there doing my thing all the time, dancing through. I said, I don't know. We all don't know the minute, not the hour. But I just want to keep my heart in tune. Because as I said already, I don't know the minute, not the hour. You can just say, oh, anything happened. But God forbid. Just want to say thanks to each and every one. Keep me in your prayers as I do as well. So that is the desire. Thanks the Lord. Thanks the Lord. Thanks the Lord. Happy day. Happy day. Perfect. My joy. I see my Savior.
my sins Mother Leela on the field. But there is no other God besides our very God. No other God besides Elohim. No other God besides Jehovah Jireh. There is no other God besides Jehovah to send your You see, He's a holy God. I greet all minister. I greet all denomination, every every diversity of gifts. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm here to give thanks to God for the sparing of my life. I am here today, not only did he spare my life, but he loved me so much that while I was sleeping, he was watching over me. I have not been here, I went to Montreal and I have not been back here, but I have not been idle. You see, there's a time when you, you, you have to separate yourself. Sometimes you need to have a special conversation. Sometimes you don't want to be disturbed. That's the reason why God took Moses and allowed him things to happen so that he could get him in a place where he could have his undivided attention. Sometimes you, you, you're hearing, but you have to ask yourself the question, am I hearing right? And you can't get the question, I can't get, we cannot get those answers from, you can't get it from me, and I can't get it from you. I have to go to somebody who knows better than I. I have to put my house in order. God says you must put your house in order. You have to put your own house in order before you can tell anybody how to put theirs in order. Because if your house is not in order, how can you show me how to put my house in order? Many times some things have passed. And as David said in the 86th Psalm that he depended on God and he knows with a positive assurance that this is the person who can solve your problem. Your problem different to mine and my problem different to yours. Yours might be small like this, but to you it is big like that, and mine is big like that, and I might think it is small, but in any case it is a problem. problem yes. And you have to go to God for that, to solve that problem. I am happy that I'm able to come. I have to set my house beside the spiritual house to set in order. I have to put my physical house in order because all the months that pass, I spent so much time here that my house is in order. 
It's a ring. It's a ring. So I have to fix everything and make it right. Because uh, the, the, the book, Proverbs, and other books tell you, no matter what you have to do, if you're a wife, you have to do the wifely duties to perform. My wifely duties is to make sure the house is clean. Because if the house is clean, it shows something about me that I'm not a clean wife. Trying to see about my house. I have to put it, I have to winterize my home, I have to do a whole lot of, a lot of stuff for my home. But I'm going to be true, but one of the things that upset me most and make me excited is I cannot leave my home all the time to come and listen to people trying to malign me. The word of God says, he tells you, some people say, oh, come out from among them and do not be entangled in the yoke of bondage. That's an excuse. That's an excuse when you want to stay away. Because being in the house, you don't have to do what they do. If your father teaches you, you don't have to teach. They don't have to teach. You, have to, you don't do what they do. And even though if I have a problem, I will not sit at home because I tell God my problems at home. But he said, do not forsake the assembly of the saints. That's right. And this is where you come when you have a problem, no matter how big the problem. If all don't see, one is going to be able to say, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? And then it, 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 the mending starts. Brethren, you didn't see me not because I, 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 I ain't coming back to church. No, I just have busy, I, and it's my husband and I alone. And it's two old people say, so, you know, when one moves, so the next one going, so I think you, you understand. It's two old people, but I am still happy to come, come back. And who twist the face, who bend it, who sit down, who stand up, who cares? I'm coming to church. That's right. I am coming to church. I am coming Amen. to you. I am yes. coming to you, not you, not you. I come to church. I come to say hallelujah. And if I come and I don't jump up, God is not going to be against you because you come here and I say, hello, Jesus. I am here. Gabriel, come and erect me to ready. And I come in the door. I come in the door. Gabriel, God, with the message. From the time I leave my house, they will follow me and he comes here to make sure I ain't telling no lie. I come to church. So when we come to church, we give God thanks, we give him praise, and I'm glad to come and see when the chorus still be at church. Try, try to try it. Try it to better. Praise the Lord. Try it. She's still trying to. To do something for the Lord. But brethren, you pray for me as I pray for you. And we all do the mind the seeds. They said it's a very twos and the three are gathered together, touching anything pertaining to his name. He will be in the midst. Yes. And when he comes in the midst, it's not the curse us, he comes to bless us to give us some more. Yes. We have Sister Felicia, Teacher Felicia on the field.
here to give a testimony of what God has done for me. Praise the Lord. And I want this, I want the testimony I'm going to give you to inspire you to go out and tell people how good God is. Yes. yes. Um, not too long ago, I had, I'm in college, I had a midterm exam. And I studied so hard for my midterm exam. Study, study, study. I get to school and all of a sudden, I got very overwhelmed, such as stress. And I just sit down to write my exam, I look at the paper now, and you think that I study? It's just gone, completely out of my head. I watch everybody, everybody's flying through the exam, and, and poor me sit down there like, I just start freaking out, freaking out so much, tell my mouth how to bleed, how to yeah. run out, go, come back. I just, my head's spinning. The only thing I can do is, Lord God, have mercy for me. Right. Oh God, how can me through this exam? I start to go, I go from, from, start from back, to down to middle, to front, just so back, 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 back. After I done, I even told some of the youths, I said, I failed, for sure I failed. <laughs> I told them, I said, I don't believe I even passed, I don't believe it at all. I said, I don't accept the fact that I failed. And as I, the days came by, I was sitting there with my cousin Carl. I said, I'm going look at my grade. Oh, look at my grade. I passed the exam, I couldn't even believe it. I passed the midterm exam. All I ask the car and say, thank you, Jesus. That's all I can say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, if I never had faith, I would have just failed that exam completely. If God didn't carry me through that, I would have failed that midterm exam. I don't know how I would have catch back from passing the course. So I want to tell you guys that, and no matter what, just as long as you have faith, you will carry you through anything. No matter how hard it is. Sometimes it can't pay your rent. You wonder, oh, how they get money? You have to have faith. Oh, and I believe yes. that God will carry you through that, 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 that stumbling block. So I want you guys to keep on praying and keep believing that God will do anything for you as long as you believe in Him. That is my testimony. Yes, Lord.
<laughs> Isaiah 40, verse 29 said, He giveth power to the faint, to them that have no might, be increased, he increased strength. <coughs> When we, when we have taught Christ, obtain mercy for our persons, we need not fear, but that we shall have suitable and seasonable help for our duty. And Jeremiah 32, verse 17, our Lord, God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power, and stretched out arms, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Blessed God of our strength, and you will call God of our hope, our light and our all. Brothers and sisters, God give us power. He alone has power. No man on earth has his power and could do the things that he can do. And at times we feel that, oh, we are up there and our brothers and sisters are down there and we have power over them. Oh no, only God alone has power. And that is what he is saying. He alone has power to give us strength, courage, and everything that an individual need, need on this earth. Brothers and sisters, we who come to church have to be very, very careful. Because when we feel that we are inside, we will hear, depart from me. I know you not. Or we might, that this song, that is not too late.
five foolish virgins. Oh, but did not take a link to the land. And when the fight was there, the God gave us some of the Watch and pray and live rejoicing every day until our Savior comes. I have to give thanks to all brothers and sisters who took a part of the prayer worship. When I had my daughter in the room, I give each and every one a heartfelt thanks. You know, I wasn't this side. I had to take her up to a city by itself named Timmins. I drove eight hours before I can get there. But I was there. But I wasn't there. Uh, how are you? I was up there, but I wasn't up there. When I asked my daughter, I said, is there any church that I can go to? He said, Mommy, there are church, but I don't think you and them will come along. Because when you get in there, all white, and they look at you as God. I said one thing. He said, Mommy, I'm not carrying your day. I said, Okay, leave it. Relax. But, brothers and sisters, I was so messed up. I, I didn't even know if it was my friend because I couldn't sleep. All my mind was for church. Because, you know, when I am at home, I go to church. I go to church. And seeing that I could have come here, I had at least a month away from here, up there. And I, I wasn't happy. Oh. I was not happy. Well, I came back down on the fourth of this month. And I told my dad, I said, I want to go to the church. He said, Mommy, I cannot carry you today because I have an exam and I want to run through it on the computer and forgive me. But if God still alive, I will take you next Sunday, which is today. And here I am. I am so happy. I am so happy. You know, the reason of me singing one day, as I was walking, I took up my flag, oh, in sentence. Because anywhere I go, I took up my flag. Oh, yes, sir. And when I reach at the airport, in sentence, they said that this would take us yeah, over long. So I decided to take out some of my clothes and send them back home. But you know, the flag go back in. When I, I look in for my flag, my rod, everything. But anyhow, I say, I will make it. I will make it. Fire! 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 
I took a journey. Come to St. Vincent. I was well dressed. But there I was going. It's to an unknown destination. And while traveling, I came out of the vehicle. The voice said, walk. Brothers and sisters, I begin to walk. I had my Bible. And I had my hymn book. Everything else that I need, I had. Brothers and sisters, when I reach the door to know St. Vincent, the door to know when I reach and bring him, and caught to him, heading him to Barony, I found myself leaning to a wall. Some gentlemen now get up those walls on the top side. And they have their shots. And while I was there, I was looking down at Lang Glass. I left from there and I took on top of it. Man, it comes like there was, there was low, so I get up on top of the bank. And when I got on the bank, a lady said to me, he said, where are you going? I said, I am going down there. She said, well, come. I said, the time is not right. I have to wait on my time. And I stood on the bank. While I stand on the bank, I saw a young lady. If I see her now, I know her, but I don't know her name. And she come to me. And when she ran and she come up to me, she was going to touch me, and I said, don't touch me. Where have you been so long? I've been waiting here for you. Where have you been? And she started to tell me, I had to this and I had to that. I said, listen, there is no excuse for that man. He ain't need any excuse. If you sent out, you go. And she said to me, lend me your Bible. And she keeps searching, searching the Bible. And while she was searching the Bible, I thought, look at the water. And I begin to gaze at the sea. While gazing at the sea, I didn't see where it go. It came up and it put her. He said, Go and tell the people. Have a family. A fish will be coming in. They must leave the canoe. He said, Tell them I say. Leave the fish alone. Don't be too covetous. Leave the fish alone. And I came back. 
brothers and sisters, you know when hearts run in race? And when they reach to a halt, how they, they start to wet. Brothers and sisters, I wet until I have to change my clothes. I say, my God, I will be going home soon. And just strengthen me. And give me length of days. And a safe, a safe flight home that I can go and deliver my days. And I came in here and I wasn't going to say anything. But I was authorized to meet people from St. Vincent and people from Bowery. So that is the reason why I sang sing this song. One day, as I was walking along the lonesome road, I heard a voice. Brothers and sisters, where I am standing here, some might not know because of that war. If there is anywhere in St. Vincent that I don't know, is somewhere that they now cut out a little village. I have been from Fancy. Village to Fancy, from Union Island to Kingston, taking every Grenadine Island. I went to Trinidad. I went to Barbados. I've been traveling. You know? Sometimes some of us we go to the government of sorrow and then we come back. Well, the gentleman gives me a flash and he gives me a bell and he gives me a this and he gives me a that. And he tells me not to go tell the people and then do this, I do that. But they claim they get the war. But tell them to do the war. Hello. Oh yes. If a pilgrim, if a mourner go down and deal from our sorrow, and you are the pointing mother of your father, and you don't know when that person is telling a lie, something wrong.
I was crying and I was praying and I fall asleep. And when I fall asleep, I heard a voice coming from under me pillow. It said, Why not give him an allo? Why not give him an allo? I said, An allo? He said, Yes, give him an allo. And I repeat the word, An allo? And as I lay on my pillow, we say aloes. A long leaf fall right on his pillow. And I got up. And I went up to no friends and I got an aloe. And I left it on Glory to God. Glory to God. How must I not give God thanks and praise? For what reason? So, I am still saying I am so happy. I will miss you all. I will miss you all. Because I am well, well happy here. If I could have lived, <laughs> if I could have lived here, you know, not to be missing me. Because we love me church back. Because we left home, go far, reach fancy. Dominique Grenadine, pay so much money, so if we could get a rent from here. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let us live in love, peace, and unity. And I pray God that when I leave this place, you all will continue to go, grow, and grow, and grow in more love, strengthening one another. I am going to leave this little tune with you all.
believing here and towards the God willing. protect it as well because we know the when we say something we got to be careful what we say because we know the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy so i pray what i'm about to say will be a protecting but yet it would also be an encouragement to somebody god has brought me a long and mighty way you know um 
when you have favor from God, you have favor from God. I've been working at this company for about two years, and God had made me a supervisor. And there's people that have been working in this company for five years, hasn't made it. Though they have a skill, they haven't been made as a supervisor. So God is good with me regarding that. And I know he's about to do so much more in my life. Yes. Because you have to work hard to get where you need to be, where you want to be. You know, sometimes we can't be, you know, in the Bible, I'm not sure what verse, but it says you have to, you know, pay respect to those who are in higher authority. If you cannot pay respect to those who are in higher authority, God is not going to give you favor as well. I mean, you have to put no when to say no, but no also when to say yes. You know, God has put people in our way to give us authority, to have authority over us, sorry. And we just have to have that spirit of discernment as well, right? To know who is able to, like, who we're able to submit to. At the same time, he has given us also authority over Satan and his, his angels, right? His angels. So, you know, I just want to give a word of encouragement to somebody, you know, like, once, just ask God for favor in your life so you can have open doors. You know, just continue walking with God so you can have open doors. You know, be an example to people as well. And I'm going to tell you where I work, okay, as a supervisor. I said to myself, God, you know, you made me a supervisor. Let me do what you want me to do. Amen. You know, yes. not what I want to do because what I want to do will fail. But what you want to do, I'm not going to fail. Amen. You know, so I have people now coming to me, opening up their, they're opening up to me. And there was a situation that just happened like a week ago. And so um, we're always hearing things uh, in the news, you know, and Facebook. Situations are happening to young people, you know, uh, random situations, even the food that we eat, what's going on around us. You know, I had, where I work, there was at least five cups. They came, five cars of cups, so in each, car there's two <coughs> policemen so that's like 10 cops and I had to open the door for the cops police cops to cops, 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 cops police. police police to go I basically live uh, work as a concierge as a security as you know so when I when I have to deal with these situations all the time you know you see ambulance you have to you know be quick you have you see police cop you have to be quick you see some you know you always have to be an alert you know and I take my job as so spiritually so carnally you know as us christians people we got to be on a pray and watch so i said to myself as a security too i have to always be praying watching so anyways we see the cops coming in they come upstairs they go to you know the resident and um and they take her out and already knew what was going on she tried to commit suicide okay and it is really surprising that for somebody to commit suicide there's 10 cops coming with an ambulance. It is very surprising because we would think there will only be two cops, but we don't know if that person has you know, a weapon on them that like, they would start shooting at themselves or the people around. I won't go up with the police cops because I don't want to interfere with, but I have to give them the access, right? So now, um, so now this young girl comes down um, it was basically her mom who went out the door and she's the one who committed um, trying to commit and a young lady came back came to me like about an hour later wanting to grab her mom's stuff so she needed access to go upstairs so the young lady started to talk to me and then she just opened up that she started to cry and she even said to me I don't know why I'm telling you this but I'm telling you this and you have to keep some stuff private as well with the other people, right? But I figured, I told her I understand. I figured I realized what was going on. So I gave her one word and I said, do you believe in God? She says, yes, I believe in God. I said, keep praying to God and pray 
for your mom. Pray for the situation. And it's not easy to talk about God when they're non-believers. Yes, very right? true. It's not easy. But the young girl started to cry. And to me, I felt like, you know, God, thank you for using me in something that I could even say some small words of encouragement to this young girl. Because we think it's only the older person that could put the family together. But he sent somebody, even a young young person, to keep that family together. So God is good. And I just pray you guys continue walking with God. I mean, continue reading the your Bible. I'm trying to do the same. I'm trying to have a better understanding and trying to get to know the truth. So this is my few words in Jesus' name. Amen. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No.
sisters. I have no right to be out here today. Oh, yes. I was out here last week for the whole service. Oh, but to yes. God be all the glory I am here again. Because I love the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. I have one topic always. Eternity. 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 Let's work for that. What will it profit us if we finish our life here on earth and we are found wanting? Let's try to live the life. Sin. Sin is what God is disappointed in man about. And you look at me and you look at that speck in my eye and want to pull it out. Come on. Let us continue to examine ourselves first so that we might be able to see that one in our brothers and our sisters' eyes. For the Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Brothers and sisters, let us work while it is day. For the night coming when no man will be able to work. The Bible tells us he's coming like a thief in the night. Trim your life and get your life in order so that when that day comes, nobody knows when. Young and old, you joke around and you have sudden death and destruction everywhere.
Thank you. 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 After a while, I start feeling so weak. something to eat. And then while I eat, while I eat and I start singing the song. And while I sing it, I sit on the bed and I was singing. And while I did, the voice said to me, why the people them sit in their house and persecuting other people like that? I open my eyes. So the people are not just sitting in their house, just ridiculing other people. Why are they doing that? That's true. Thank you. 